Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my LA Marathon training series. It's week two and I locked some miles this week. I kicked off the week on Monday with a little self-care day, got my nails done, did some laundry for my trip coming up. I also got a new Apple Watch, which is going to help me log my miles. I ruined my last two Apple Watches, so I needed to get a new one. Loving the neutral color on this. Probably get a new band for a fancy time. I also got a new set from Fabletics. Love the piping on this bra. It's more of a bra for running, but I know I'll be able to use these leggings for yoga. I also got this really cute romper, which is going to be really cute in my trip to Florida and Costa Rica. And yeah, I'm working in Newport today, so I'm going to do a little bit of meal uh, prep. Oh my God, look how delicious this air fryer salmon is for the morning. Some hard boiled eggs that I can bring with some fruit, some extra salad. Oh yeah, get fit. <laughs> All right, I'm at Newport Beach Equinox. Haven't been here in a while. I'm gonna do upper body and just stretch out before I work for Jay Pritchard this afternoon. to work for two times you so i'm already aware that it's the best thing to do so i'm very well aware of the benefits of wearing compression i got this like medium support compression thinking that these could even be race day but i'm going to train in them today and wear them throughout this journey oh my god high rise i'm obsessed these look so flattering on i'll show you What's up guys? All right, I called off work today, which is not ideal. I have worked for this brand since October and this is only my second call out and I just couldn't do it. My mental health was not on point. I didn't feel comfortable saying that. So I do usually get really bad cramps. So I started my period yesterday. So I just like needed a lady holiday. Doing laundry, cleaned up my house, which is really powerful for the mind. I'm gonna make a really yummy dinner and I'm headed to run through Beverly Hills in the cactus garden and hopefully hit four miles. If I feel good, I'll go ahead and do eight miles and do four tomorrow, but I'm thinking four and then I'm gonna hit up a yoga class, yoga class at Equinox Beverly Hills. But first, I'm gonna switch the laundry. If you know, you know. Okay, I had a runner's thought. And by the way, I'm running with white strips in my mouth, which is kind of gross, but stop acting. But I had a thought that to be happy, you have to decide to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, I wish I would have broke out my camera. So you can meet Derek. Derek is some guy that was running and he saw me walking and he's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I just ran half a mile with Derek and we got each other's number for when we're running. But I was just talking to him about my story and how I've just been so depressed and emotional and really being in my in self, you know, having a lack mindset. And I'm really good at bouncing out of that because I have all the tools and education to help with that. But I have been seeking or sinking really, really low this last year. And I knew that running for a cause and running to get out of self and be doing this for someone else who has it way worse than me or has a loved one that is struggling way worse then my story could really be a positive thing for humanity. And that is when you start doing the work from a higher power with a higher purpose. You know, the ego loves to think me, me, me. So unfortunately, that is the energy of fear, lack and depression is you are letting your ego self take over. So. Thank you, Derek, for the inspiration and the running chat. I've got 
about a mile and 40 left to get home, eat something, and head to Equinox for a nice yoga class before dinner. Okay, saving the eight for tomorrow. That was hard, but she did it. I'm rolling down Beverly Hills here, headed to yoga. What up? It's about 6, 18 p.m. It's Wednesday. I was gonna run on the beach tonight because I got off work early. Well, not like early of a shift. Like I went in at freaking 6 a.m. for a transfer. We got new furniture in at the store. But anyway, I got off early and then I had a chat with Hannah who is going to be on the show. And then we kind of just were talking about how LA can be a little dangerous to run at night. So I was like, well, I'm gonna run down to the beach. But then I was like, traffic, like I just didn't want to stiff up there and back. I gotta run eight miles. So pulling into Equinox and we're gonna run on the tread. <laughs> Okay, so I was trying on my dress to see what shoes I was gonna wear for Jenna's wedding and it freaking broke. So this wouldn't happen post-marathon training, but I went to Zara, they're having a huge sale. I got way more than just a new dress, a couple other things. So woohoo, Costa Rica, I'll be looking fly. Good morning, it's about 9 a.m. and I'm headed to the beach to do my long run. Definitely wanted to be like done by now, but I was up late packing and I really needed some sleep. So I'm giving myself some grace for having a late morning. I had a little snack so I could have some carbs for this run and my laundry is in the dryer. So hopefully that doesn't make a neighbor mad to have to move it sooner than I get home. But yeah, we're moving and grooving. I got checked in for my flight. I do this run, stretch, shower, go to brunch with my friend, my new co-host Seth and his husband and finish packing and then get a wax and hopefully do more stretching and then head to the airport. All right, let's go. Oh, this is green tea that I'm drinking on the way there. Mm. Whew. Okay, so today is harder than I thought. I thought maybe since I was well rested and excited for vacation, I'd be able to like knock out 11 miles easily, but I could barely run a mile. Lots of walking, I'm just under three miles. So we'll see how many miles I log today. I feel like my skin is burning. I put on sunscreen, but crap, should have brought more with me. But I was thinking about how long it's going to take me to run this thing and I was reminding myself so I thought I'd pop on and report it here. Um, I'm doing this because I want to be reminded to put one foot in front of the other. So it's literally just a motivational tool for me to use through this time and channel my energy in a healthy way. And then I really believe that my All right, guys, that's a wrap. See you next week. What my why is, what my purpose is, and why I'm putting one foot in front of the other and just finishing this and doing the things I said I was going to do. Does anybody else stretch on the street in the parking lot? Yeah. I didn't think so. Okay, I'm freaking starving. I got ready in like five seconds. I don't really know what I'm wearing. Should I keep this hat on? I don't know. But going with Seth and Jason and they're like major foodies. So I now in the car on the way there, they can like already tell me what to order and I can just salivate about it. 